It is so important to celebrate our veterans and our own Joanne Dixon learned all about an upcoming event that will have participants hitting the road in honor of a great cause. It's time to get your motor running and head out to the second annual The Cause is Greater Than I Motorcycle Ride on October 3rd. And here to tell us more is Chad Graham. Chad, thank you so much for talking with me today. Uh, thanks for having us. We're uh, really excited about this and excited to talk to you today. Yeah. Now, Chad, this ride is part of the Woody Williams Foundation. Could you tell, tell us a bit about Woody and what the foundation is all about? Absolutely. So uh, the Woody Williams Foundation is really focused at the mission of honoring, recognizing and serving Gold Star families and the legacy of their loved ones who've paid the ultimate sacrifice in military service. So we serve all those Gold Star families uh, through three major programs, one being the Gold Star Families Memorial Monuments that we build. That There are several of those here in Kentucky and uh, six, soon to be 67 uh, throughout the country. And we also do outreach events and education. And this motorcycle ride is one of those outreach events. And, um, you know, we, we really are focused on that saying, that motto that our founder, Woody Williams, um, that he said, and it's something that he genuinely believes and that we genuinely believe as well, the cause is greater than I. And that's really what we are all about as an organization. Woody himself is the last living Marine Medal of Honor recipient from World War II. There's only two surviving Medal of Honor recipients from the Second World War, and he is 96 and running strong, and this will actually be the day after his 97th birthday. He will be in attendance as well as another Medal of Honor recipient from Vietnam who uh, resides here in Kentucky, Don Jenkins. So it's gonna be a special day. That's amazing, and I feel lucky that I got to meet him. He's your grandfather, correct? He is. I, I am so proud and honored to have him as, as my grandfather. I always tell people, even if he weren't my grandfather, he'd be my hero, but I am I am blessed at, to, to call him Papa. Absolutely, and, and now the cause is greater than I, Motorcycle Ride. Can you tell us a little bit about what people can expect? Absolutely. So one of our main concerns is really just to make sure it's safe. So this being an outdoor event, uh, we're going to obviously uh, take all the appropriate uh, precautions related to COVID protocols and regulations. But uh, we had one of our riders say the other day, motorcycle riding is the perfect activity for, uh, for the environment that we're all operating in right now. But essentially, we'll meet up in the morning, uh, 930 registration starts, 11 o'clock, it is kickstands up for a uh, beautiful ride out through horse country, uh, leaving from captain's quarters. And we will stop about halfway through the ride at the uh, Veterans Memorial Park of Kentucky in Crestwood, Kentucky. And we'll have a, a, a special ceremony there, a remembrance ceremony for our Gold Star families and their loved ones. And we'll have a, a couple of folks uh, share remarks. We've got a Gold Star father gonna share some thoughts there. We'll go kick stands up again and head back to captain's quarters uh, where we're gonna have a silent auction. We're gonna have some food and, and some live music. Of course, once again, all outside and, and appropriately distanced, but it's just gonna be a great day and an opportunity for us to honor uh, Gold Star families and their loved ones. Each rider will be paired with, the, um, with, with a fallen hero. So they will be riding in honor of one of those service members who paid that ultimate sacrifice. And we'll have some Gold Star families. Uh, they are our most important guests that day. And then we'll also have, as mentioned, two Medal of Honor recipients that are supporting the event and really wanna come out and show support for Gold Star families. That's amazing. Okay, for anyone who's not a biker like me, I know this may be a shocker to find out I don't ride a motorcycle. People could come and just kind of like, you know, socially distance, but kind of watch this all going on as well, right? You don't have to just Absolutely. ride. Absolutely. And and we also have folks that are bringing, you know, will be a part of the ride maybe in, uh, in their Jeep or in their Corvette. You know, there's some of those riding and driving clubs, uh, slingshots and spiders, those three-wheeled vehicles. So we're, we're welcoming everybody to be a part of that. And um, you know, I, I think it'll be special that it, it, it'll it'll give us as as a community the opportunity to show these families how much we support them and how much we want to remember their loved one. That's amazing. And if people want more information, where's the best place to go? You can come to our website, and that's the initials H W W M O H F dot org. And if you're interested in writing, uh, you can pre-register because we're starting to fill up. So we want to make sure that uh, everybody has an opportunity to be a part of the ride, they can visit ridewithwoody.org. That is the registration site. Awesome, Chad. Thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks for having us. And uh, we just really appreciate you supporting our mission. And uh, it's always good to see you. You too.